Have you had any? Give everyone a bit of thinking time. It's worth it. Quickly around the table, saying who you are and what aspect. And this session is very much an interactive one. I think we've all seen quite a lot of PowerPoints today, so I've got a couple of bits and pieces I want to cover. But really, this is about a new format that we're doing to try and, and, and learn from each other and understand um, um, the lessons that, uh, that you've experienced and, and, and maybe some mistakes that we've made in, um, in this particular subject area so that we can try and uh, all learn from each other. The format of this session and the next hour is. It's basically, uh, um, um, I'm going to talk very briefly for about 15 minutes on some of our customers' experiences in the cloud around security, um, in particular about the way that um, different sectors have been approaching it. Um, and then we're going to break out into the different tables that you're in um, to discuss um, a particular um, question that's going to be broached to each table. Um, on each table, we actually have um, um, a Sun Guard representative. Um, we've got Paul on table one. Hello, Paul. In this way. So, Paul's on Sun Guard. Um, Graham is Sun Guard on table two. Um, um, I will join table, what table number is that? Three. <laughs> and Richard on table four. So, basically, we're going to be broaching a particular question in this area and um, discussing it for about 20 minutes. Um, 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 on each table, each table is going to have a different question, and then um, one representative from each table for five minutes is just going to feed back what was discussed, and we may have a bit more conversation there. Does that sound good? Yeah? Excellent. Great. So, these are some of some of our customers, and some of you may be in the room um, for our, um, our cloud services, and I think one of the key things that has made security, and particularly um, even more high priority than it was before in terms of making decisions about um, um, whether to move services into the cloud or not. There's, there's a few key reasons why um, security has become even more prevalent and more of one of the, the number one buying criteria decisions for people to put in the cloud. So one of the things that we've seen is very much over the last six months that um, um, companies where they traditionally look to use um, and cloud environments for test development are now looking to use more for enterprise type of services. Um, and we're seeing this in particular with large enterprises that have, have been uh, utilizing software as a service, but that now want to leverage those benefits for more traditional applications, such as SAP, etc., and deliver them back as a service, um, very much in line with, with their ITIL um, um, focus. Um, um, we've actually got um, a couple of clients that are doing that. So basically, they they have um, decided they want to deliver SAP back as a service. They take our enterprise um, cloud service. It's, that's all wrapped up into um, into a monthly cost, and they have a very secure environment. And the other key thing as well is a real awareness um, from a market point of view about we need to have the appropriate level of security the appropriate level of availability and management on a service-by-service -service basis. Um, I don't know if anyone in the room is involved with the Ministry of Justice FITS program. I know we've got gentlemen from the Ministry of Justice here. Um, but one of the key things the CTO said was um, um, security needs to be appropriate because you don't want to stifle, um, um, stifle innovation by locking these down with a new supply. It's a very popular session. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Um, and we need to look at the appropriate level of security. So that's something that we have seen. Um, another thing as well that's been really interesting from my point of view with some of the opportunities that we've been working with is if you look just at these different sectors, and this is a particularly public sector company, it's a bit of finance company, it's a bit of software company, when asked what their absolute priorities were with the solution, they were very much geared around security, but also quite interesting um, in some of the differences. Um, we do a lot of work with financial services, which is, um, um, uh, I, I, I don't hate to use the word softening, but I use the word more um, um, uh, a real kind of like um, um, focus on, on splitting out um, absolute critical um, data that may need to stay locally from other web services that can use the cloud. But crucially for finance services, we find a lot of um, priorities is the performance, is the IOPS, and these kind of things. Um, with public sector, obviously, um, we do a whole lot of work around um, business impact analysis. Um, we're actually on the G Cloud framework, so we find that uh, uh, um, 
one of the key things from health authorities is wanting in power level three, um, and obviously residing in the UK. And I mentioned down there management level as well. So we find that we have a lot of people, their, their priority is around um, um, whether they want to um, outsource the management to the OS or not. So that's quite a key thing. And from software company, we have quite a lot of companies that are hosting their software applications with SunGuard. And number one, absolutely, is availability. You know, we've got a reputation to uphold here. And the funny thing I find is that. Well, a lot of people focus on SLAs around availability, um, you know, there's there's sometimes not as much focus from a privacy <laughs> point of view put on um, well, what about data protection and that kind of thing. So, something else we've seen a lot is that um, from being a hosting company, and being a hosting company for many years, um, the questions that we've had about people hosting with us, even in managed services, they have gone up a notch because now this is a, a, a virtual kind of solution and, 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 and the potential conflict with other people's data. And this uh, this has kind of really um, been boiled down into a series of different focuses um, that we have in discussion points. Um, we find that we deliver mainly multi-tenancy offerings, but we do provide private offerings as well, where people can have um, dedicated compute instances. Um, but again, it's just looking at a granular level and looking at um, um, why um, does a particular um, service or application require to be um, separate from other people. We're, we're actually doing a lot of work as well with um, in the public sector around community clouds. We've heard that today, today. Um, where um, we're finding a lot of um, um, different businesses are actually happy to sit next to, in the public sector, uh, businesses of a similar ilk and, and benefit from that. Um, and really, most of these are conversations we've been having for many years around managed services, but now there's a lot more focus, particularly on, um, on these three areas when it comes to cloud. Um, and just to, um, to finish off my point really, um, one of the very interesting and um, um, common situations we have is naturally people approaching the conversation from a compliance point of view, um, and then we have a whole host of people that have focused it from a process or component point of view. But the crucial thing that we found is, in effect, to achieve the compliancy, you need to have the processes and the governance in place, and that's something that we found is, is, is very much a priority for, for our customers. Um, so how are our customers approaching security in the cloud and looking at the threats there? Well, they're making sure they have the appropriate levels, as we've talked about from security and to management point of view, making sure they understand the compliancy that they require. And I think a key thing, and something I'd like to discuss more today, is understanding where the responsibility lies because um, a service provider can provide you with an environment, can give you certain SLAs around certain things, but it's also working together to achieve certain levels of compliance, for example, PCI as a team and understanding that. So what I wanted to do now was, um, um, these are the four questions that um, we are going to be asking today. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Depending on what table you're on, this is the question that I would like you to, uh, to discuss in your tables. Um, and I wanted to leave as much time as possible for discussion, so we're going to give um, 20 minutes on each table to, to discuss a particular question, and then um, um, anyone on the table, if you wish to be someone representative, that's fine, but anyone on the table who wishes to be uh, the orator can stand up and, and just give us the key facts that, um, that you found from, from the discussion. So, table one, you guys, where the main security threats come from and where should approach attention. Table two, is the cloud always less secure than traditional security? Is availability for small business critical? Are we doing table three talking about um, the threat? And then table four about managing security in a world of self-service. So, um, Let's um, give it until quarter past, and uh, yeah, let's uh, go. Okay. I think that's quite a challenge, isn't it? Because what she gives the access to my data, it's all about controlling that individual. You can manage to.
Solve that challenge you've done.